What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Hello, my friends. How are you all doing today? We do serve a very mighty God, don't we? Yes, heaven and earth, everything in it, glorifying him. Every time I sing songs like that or see the scripture, I think of even little ants, you know, all the insects and everything, praising the Lord. <laughs> Yes, that should be some type of cartoon or movie or something. I don't know. Anyway, how are you all doing today? Well, I hope today is, yes, another glorious day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am rejoicing for God is so good. Today behind me, I have some more beautiful flowers. We had a bush like this in New York growing up on Long Island. Yes, it was just every year it just bloomed out these beautiful purplish like colors. It's just so gorgeous. And this is my friend's garden again. I told you I had taken, uh, he had taken a lot of pictures of his garden and I, and he would take the whole bush, but I just took you know, parts of it so that I could fit it in here so that you could see it. Anyway, another, you know, beautiful, glorious creation of God's, you know, flowers for us to enjoy and to smell. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into God's word with Joel Olstein's The Power of I Am. Let's see what Pastor Olstein has to share with us today. Today is title is See the Good. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's from Hebrews 13, 5 from the NKJV. Discontentment is like a faint, high-pitched sound coming from a cell phone. It follows us all around. If God blesses us with a promotion, we're happy for a little while, but then the discontentment comes. We don't want to work so hard or we don't want the responsibility, but it's not our circumstances. It's the spirit of discontentment, complaining about what we don't like, never have enough. That's why Paul said, I've learned to be content. You have to train your mind to see the good, to be grateful for what you have. Life will go so much better if you would be content in every season. Content when you have a lot, content when you don't have a lot, content whether you're in maintenance or management. Amen, amen and amen. I totally agree with this. Um, yes, we have to see the good and everything. God, thank you for your word. And also thank you, Joel Olstein, for reminding us that we need to be content in whatever circumstances we are in. And we, we will because I am, I hope you are too. And just stay focused, stay focused on God of what his will is for you for today, for that second, for that moment in your life. All right, and now for the reading of the Holy Bible, today I'm going to be reading Psalms 23 verse five. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father, for your word. We are so appreciative that our cup overflows, that you anoint us with oil. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, and now for the readings of David C. Hebner's Clear My Vision. The first thing I want you to do is pray. Pray every way 
you know how, for everyone you know. Pray especially for rulers and their governments to rule well so we can be quietly about our business of living simple in humble contemplation. This is the way our Savior, God, wants us to live. Eventually, the news is going to get out. This and this only has been my appointed work, getting this news to those who have never heard of God and explaining how it works by simple faith and plain truth. That's from 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 3 and 6 through 7. Regardless of whether I am a counselor or a car salesman, my business is to live in humble contemplation and share with others what God has shared with me. As you read and hopefully learn from these devotionals, take the blessing you have received and tell others. Focus on God is a simple and radical way to live the Christian life. It's news that's worthy of getting out. I amen that. I totally agree with that. The prayer here today is, Lord, thank you for filling me with the joy of reading your word and sharing it with others. Amen. Amen and amen. I amen that because I have so much joy reading God's word and sharing it with you. Praise be to God. Glory be to him. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for loving us so much that you prepare a table before our enemies. You anoint us with your oil. Thank you for blessing us so very much and having our cup runneth over. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, we are so grateful for all the blessings that you give to us every day. I cannot thank you enough and praise you enough for everything you have blessed me with. The trials, the tribulations that had molded and shaped and formed me to have a close, close relationship with you. And Father, we just lift up everyone, Lord, that is listening. Father, that they would continue to fo be focused to you, Lord, that they would choose to focus on you, on your word. And Father, that you would pour your Holy Spirit in and through us to do your work each and every day. May you be blessed as we share your word with others and help others grow, bring others to salvation for, their, for them to have salvation, to know you and have a personal relationship with you. We ask of all these things in your precious son's powerful name, Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, until tomorrow. Ciao, Bella.